Our research looks at climate history of the planet through what's recorded in the layers in the ice and glaciers around the world. We're documenting the change of the past and also the change in the 20th century. What we've seen so far, and I think of what should really be of concern to humanity, is what's happening to glaciers in places like right here in Peru, the tropical glaciers. They're all retreating. They're retreating in Africa, they're retreating in the Andes, they're retreating in the Himalayas. In as little as 15 years, in some of these places, like on Kilimanjaro, there will be no archive. There will be no history left from the ice. We've worked in 15 countries, particularly in the very high elevation sites in the mountain ranges around the world. And the reason we go to a very high elevation is that we want to be above where melting takes place. We want to have a record of the annual snowfall preserved through the ice archive, the history that's recorded in these glaciers. This will be my 20th trip to Kelkaya, to the Kelkaya Ice Cap. The Kelkaya Ice Cap is 40 degrees south of the equator. It's in the easternmost section of the Andes. And from Kelkaya last year, we drilled two cores to bedrock. This year, we only need one year to bring our 2003 ice core records up to 2004. This is the Coricalis Glacier that you see down in the valley here. This is the largest outlet glacier coming from the Kelkaya Ice Cap. The Kelkaya Ice Cap being the largest tropical glacier on Earth. And we've been studying uh, this glacier since 1978. And since then, we've been coming back and photographing initially the retreat of the ice. But then the formation of the lake that you see there. And through time, this retreat has accelerated. So recently, we've been actually photographing this just about every year to get the change. And in 2001, we actually came up along this lake. And this was not exposed. And in 2002, while we were waiting for the horses, I decided to come up just to look at how fast new vegetation was occupying the new land being exposed by the retreating glacier. And I just happened to cross this plant deposit. And the date of the plant would tell us the last time this ice cap, Kilkaya ice cap, was smaller than today. So we had it dated in two labs, and it dates 5,200 years ago. So that tells us that this ice cap has not been smaller than today for 5,200 years. We are standing on the summit of the Kalkaya ice cap, an elevation of 18 and a half thousand feet above sea level. We see here a 1600 year record of each seasonal snowfall that occurs here that does not melt, preserves a little part of that history of that year. No left. So it lets us see back into the past. So one of the objectives here is to document that history, but also 
to archive some of that ice for the future because we know that our technology, our understanding will continue to increase as we go into the future. But those archives aren't going to be out in the natural world. One of the really unique things that the ice records is in the bubbles trapped in the ice, which is simply the atmosphere of the past, there is a gas record of the composition of the Earth's atmosphere. So we can extract those bubbles and those molecules that make up the water, that makes up the ice, and we can measure how the climate system has changed through time, and particularly how it's changing in the 21st century. This is the last thousand years of annual climate variability uh, from the Kelkaya ice cap. And you can see things like the medieval warm period here in the early part, the little ice age, and the warming in the 20th century. If we look at the ice core record, certainly in the last hundred years, the thing that stands out is the huge increases in concentrations in all these parameters in the last 20 years. And for sure, we as human beings are changing the composition of the atmosphere. I grew up in West Virginia, a coal mining state. I always heard of these stories about the canaries that the miners would take down. When the canary died, they got out of the mine. And to me, the tropical glaciers are canaries, and they're telling us the system is changing. This issue of climate change and global warming is a real issue. We're not talking about a belief system here. We're talking about what is and what can be documented by facts and by science. And that we need to look at this and adjust our policy, our way of living, our values based on the idea of sustainability and that we all need to live on this planet.